Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater gameplay uh, showcase trailer from the Xbox Showcase. Now it has been rumored it's gonna show up on Xbox Showcase and it did. And now it finally came out and I'm gonna give my reaction to the trailer. So let's just jump right in, shall we? Alright. So we see the airplane from the beginning. Big Boss is going to be dropped off for a virtuous mission. Play looks good, the clouds look really good. And here's the crew. We see Major Zero, we see Romanek. Here's Big Boss with the gas mask on it. And now we see Big Boss drawing out his knife. Remembering CQC. And here he is, sneaking around. You must not be seen by and we get to see the KGB troops. No trace of your There's Dolino Vodno. Kind of and he's hanging out the on the bridge. And now we see words, this <laughs> part with the croc cap, which is awesome. And we see the man car. We see him swimming with the torch. New animations of crawling, I have to crouching. Find my own weapons and equipment. Here it is. Crazy idea They're opening the hatch. We can see the sunlight. The reflections look amazing. It was just before the drop off. Real one man army. And we see some more CQC. Yeah, very similar to MGS5 one. And you can move and aim at the same time. We see more CQC. This is Groznygrad. And now we see this legendary cutscene with Ocelot unit. We saw the M63. And here's the motorcycle section. We didn't see the Eva yet. And here's fight against the hind the RPG. And we see the boss carrying the Davy Crockett nukes. And here she is. The boss looks really good. The parabatic looks good. Big boss looks great. I mean the graphics here just look amazing. It's uh, by the way Unreal Engine 5. I gotta say it looks absolutely amazing. So the sh showcase concluded with the virtuous mission where Big Boss says Commencing virtuous mission now. And it's a damn good trailer. No wokeness, no ugly women BS, no toned down graphics. So yeah, this is a pretty, pretty good trailer. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I wish they showcased more. I want to see Eva, maybe Adam, or Ocelot. We all know that Revolver Ocelot is Adam. But this was just first in a uh, showcase trailer. Of course, there's going to be more. and. Probably the second or third one is gonna uh, tell us the release date, so I'll be looking forward to this remake. The, because, like I said many times, MGS3 is my favorite game of all time. Like, of all time. Not just uh, my favorite MGS game, but favorite game of all time. And I wish for this remake to be uh, successful and I wish to be good. So, I'll be definitely looking forward to this remake. Good thing is it's gonna be on all platforms, on PC, Xbox and uh, PlayStation, so no one's gonna get left behind. And I'm gonna break it down more and try to analyze some of the some of the footage here. So we saw Major Zero, we saw Paramedic, we saw the boss, we saw KGB troops and we saw GRU operatives, we saw us, some of the key locations have been nailed seen uh, Krasnogorye mountains, we saw the caves being added in, there's Groznygrad so they're gonna be very faithful to the original trying to add uh, everything that was in the original and not cut anything so I hope there's gonna be no cut content at all and I just wish for them to add more stuff into it some new unlockables, some new uniforms, new face paints but yeah, as we've seen, uh, there's some new animations, like you can uh, move a name, you can move and shoot. We've seen some new CQC animations, which is very nice. Snapping onto a tree with the knife and a pistol ready. Like the boss and the paramedic, they look uh, feminine, they don't look like ugly women from uh, Fable 3 or the Ubisoft games. No, 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 no. This is a Japanese developer, and they know they have to make it non-woke, no BS, none of that uh, DEI stuff. So I hope it's not going to be ruined by that. The characters look really, really good. 
like the overall environments they look really detailed with the grass moving uh, by the movement of the wind we saw great reflections the contrast between the light and dark areas how the, uh, how the lighting is casted as we've seen we saw the swimming animation with the torch equipped so torch is going to be there i saw the m63 and we saw that uh, <laughs> rambo inspired the uh, yell when you're holding down the fire button with m63 stoner machine gun but yeah so far uh really damn good really really damn good and like uh, what i've seen with the uh, cqc cutscene uh with the ocelot unit and then uh ocelot right after you save sokolov at the end of virtuous mission uh, it, like i can see the developers really trying to be as faithful to the original as much as possible and which is awesome that's it, it should be one-to-one -one remake like giving you exactly what you want uh, same uh, fluent responsive gameplay uh, keeping the formula same with that uh, linear uh, level structure but giving you sandbox approach to everything just like the original had but just expanding upon it make it much smoother and much more beautiful looking uh, yes they they're reusing audio but that's a good thing because the original audio was just marvelous it was it was amazing so that's a good decision uh, if you ask me like with a lot of uh, codec calls a lot of cutscenes are just gonna be the same but just enhanced graphically I want to see new mechanics new physics added in with the Unreal Engine 5 uh, they, they can do miracles with this game so I don't doubt it's gonna look phenomenal it's like back in, in the PS2 era like MGS3 blew me off with the with the style and the, the way how the whole game looked and reacted to you, you your, to your actions and I hope it's gonna be just further expanded in the remake but yeah we saw the motorcycle chase scene um, right after you defeat a Volgin in a Shago hod. so that's gonna be there but yeah, suddenly we, again we didn't see Eva maybe they're just waiting for the next showcase and yeah we saw the uh, naked camouflage so without the shirt on it's a really really damn good looking trailer I gotta say um, I can be hyped for this game again I can be hyped for gaming again so yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, I did like the interior of the plane itself. It's very detailed. Um, it's like with all the notches, the monitors, uh, major zero overlooking the parameters. Paramedic looks good. It's like everything was nailed to be as close to the original as possible. Because the original motion capture was just so amazing. It just needs to look better in 4K, uh, Ultra HD, uh, HDR for the new generation of gaming that's it so the combat is gonna get an upgrade and so will the enemy AI but hopefully with a better vision better hearing and being more ferocious of course being more intelligent as well using uh, better tactics again than the original this looks really amazing so I'll be definitely on the lookout for more MGS3 Delta uh, the content definitely yeah no release date but it's rumored to be 2025 so we'll just wait until the next year most likely we'll see so right this concludes this breakdown I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this trailer as well and for the future news I'll be stay tuned so until the next time have a good day everyone and take care bye bye